How's it going ladies and Bruce is up Bobby 600 welcome to a random little bonus video for Code Vein. Welcome back to Code Vein. I know it's been a long time since we played this and this is uh, just out of the blue but uh, I was not satisfied with uh, not getting the true ending so I went back to it and played it in my own time to get the true ending because I really really like the game. It's one of my it's one of my favorite Souls likes to be honest it's really good. Um, I know people have been shitting on the DLC and I haven't played that so that might be bad but uh but the game itself is fantastic. I really enjoy it. And I thought um, maybe you guys were disappointed about not seeing the, the good ending as well in my playthrough. So I recorded it. There's no voiceover. There's no webcam or face cam or anything along those lines. But I will show you the ending as I record it. I'll cut, cut it up so it's nice and short. You see a little bit of the final boss fight and then the good ending and all of that. It's really good. It's really cool. I hope you enjoy it. I cannot understand. The actions you've chosen to take, they can bring nothing but further disaster to this land. I cannot allow that mistake to repeat itself a second time. Stand by their side and attend to them. That is enough. It is the duty with which we have all been entrusted. If you lose your way, if you take one false step, it will lead to that same result. That's not true. Yes, as attendants, it may be that we were all born from Cruz's weakness. But we are not all identical to one another. Our experiences are unique. Through our journeys, I have experienced the memories of so many different people. I have witnessed the passion with which they lived their lives. And what I've found for every single one of those people is that they fought as hard as they could to survive. They pushed themselves for the sake of others to keep living. It didn't matter if they had lived as a human or if they had lived as a revenant. They still struggled on. It was the same for the successors, just as it was for so many of our poor sisters. I do not wish to cling to a futile mission out of fear and let myself stand by, hoping for a peaceful ending. I will struggle. I will fight. Against Cruz's sin, and against my duty. What it means to be alive. Io, it's true, there does seem to be something different within you. Something that sets you apart from the other attendants. Very well. I bequeath all to you. And so, I beg of you. Please, save everyone.
Silver has lost control of the relic. What's wrong? Silva is pulling in the relics. I will stop this! We don't have a lot of time. Hey, kid, can you handle this? In the end, no matter who I may be, even if I serve as little more than an empty vessel, you have stored so many precious memories inside of my heart, and I promise I will never allow them to fade away. Whatever happens, I will always be with you. Just as you will always be within my heart. And now... Goodbye.
In the years after Eo stopped the relics from frenzying and transformed into the weeping tree, Karen and the others discovered a reliable source of blood beads. And the question I've pondered for so long, what as a revenant can I do? What about the outside world and the horrors there? We analyzed the signals intercepted from outside when the red mist appeared. They were countless cries for help. As revenants, we prey upon humanity. We might bring them nothing but misery. Even so, I can't just give up. 
I plan to start research with Karen that will hopefully lead to methods for controlling thirst and revenants. I don't know if we'll ever find an answer, but I'm sure it will lead to better lives in the Jail of the Mists. It would be nice if Louis could work with us. We finally secured a steady supply of blood beads. Once again, we have Eo to thank. On the day she took all of the relics, I was suddenly my old self again. And ever since then, she's been producing blood beads and even maintaining the Red Mist. So even if it's only a little, I want to make it so people can have normal lives in this world she's protecting for us. That's my wish. All the power was sucked right out of my body. I was so big and strong. But now look at me. But now Jack's training me to grow strong again. I don't see Mia as much as I used to, but I always feel close to her, even when we're apart. I think it's because we respect each other so much now. I miss her, but a knight has his duty. I've looked through documents from the Great Collapse, and the more I read, the more I understand why those creatures are called horrors. They're immune to even the most powerful weapons, and immortal like the loss that plagued the Jail of the Mists. Now I understand why Revenants had to be created. The situation was that dire. And the horrors are still roaming the outside world. It must be incredibly difficult living out there. The Relic's power created the Weeping Tree, thanks to Eo's wish. And there's no sign of the Queen coming back. It must have taken a strong will. We are ordinary revenants without the power of the relics, but our mission still remains. As long as I live, I will continue to watch over that power, together with Jack. There are no changes in the Weeping Tree. It's completely normal. Don't worry. If anything happens, I swear I'll do everything in my power to stop it. Meanwhile, it's time we both do what we need to. My mission as a Watcher has ended, but my duty to protect the world still remains. I won't allow the hell here to escape and torment those outside. Is that amber blood bead Eo gave you all right? It's a piece of her memory and a manifestation of her strength. Handle it with care. Karen and the others say it's made of the same substance as the weeping tree Eo gave us after taking on all the relics. It has the ability to alter the relic's influence, if only in a small way. The lost are still a dire threat to the survival of humanity, but the new provisional government is at last on a course to stop them. Silva is pushing reforms to aid as many revenants as possible. I can finally get to the job of exploring the depths in earnest. You've been a great help. I must thank you. Oh, I nearly forgot. I have a message for you. <clears throat> uh, the Provisional Government would appreciate your cooperation. Please contact the Government if you seek work with real meaning. I'm glad to see that things have calmed down a bit here. Although Louie's worried again. Are the two of you ever satisfied? You finally earned some peace, so why not enjoy it? Well, whatever you choose, I'll go along with you. Do what you feel is right. Today I invited Yakumo to work for the Provisional Government, but he turned me down outright. Sorry, but just like you've got things you want to do, I've got things I want to do too. Yeah, he hasn't changed a bit. <laughs> well, I didn't want to work for them at first either. After a while of fighting to survive, I noticed I'd made a bunch of friends along the way. And here I am stuck with them. But I guess they're all pretty great, so I don't regret it at all.
You're leaving into the outside world? Yeah, I figured that's what you would do. I can't say I approve of you heading out alone, though. At least say something before you go. After all, we're supposed to be friends, right? And since you guys insist on charging ahead all the time, you're going to need someone to keep things running smoothly. To be honest, I'm not sure how welcome Revenants will be in the outside world. But, we have to keep reminding ourselves that we were all created for a reason. I'll carry on Cruz's dream. Just like you carried yours. Let's go. Eel!